Hi, I'm Sandal, and almost two years ago, after surviving the most difficult season of my life, I was inspired by a YouTuber, sold most of what I owned, and bought a Toyota Prius to move into. Well, that turned out to be the best decision I ever made. So thank you, Nikki Belventhal, for making that YouTube channel, and thank you all for joining me and Mercy Cat on our epic adventures. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss us. Thank you all for being here. Last week, we left off with me driving around the area looking for a new campsite to camp at with my friends that I met at the hot spring. Good morning. Um, I'm at a new campsite. I haven't been filming much. I've had a hurt back for the last few days. Check this out, I'm about to go live. Look at the sunrise. I'm at Mono Lake, California. Oh my God. Oh, so pretty. So this is our point of view. This is me and Murphy Cat. Good morning, Mommy Cat. These are alkali flies. It is known that Mark Twain visited the Mono Lake area and he stated that at any time you can see there are belts of flies an inch deep and six feet wide and this belt extends clear around the lake a belt of flies 100 miles long alkali flies are one of the few unusual creatures that make up mono lake's unique and highly productive ecosystem in late summer they carpet the shoreline providing food for the birds and a wild experience for visitors when the clouds of flies swarm into the air as people approach. At Mono Lake, you're pretty much only going to find alkali flies in their stages, trillions of brine shrimp, and a bunch of different migratory birds. So here, alkali flies are food. Food for the birds as well as food for the natives. The natives use the alkali fly as an excellent source of food because they're rich in fat and protein. They actually were named the Mono Lake Kutsadika tribe. Kutsadika means fly eater in their native language. After miners and ranchers colonized the basin and destroyed the indigenous way of life, the traditions of eating the kutsavi, which is the actual alkali fly pupa, diminished, but some families continue to enjoy the delicacy today. Mono Lake is two and a half times more saline than the ocean and a hundred times more alkaline. So this is why you don't find many creatures living here, especially no fish. All there is is brine shrimp, the fly pupa, and birds. Brine shrimp are not the same thing as normal shrimp, and the specific species that's in Mono Lake is not found anywhere else in the world. And there's an estimated four to six trillion brine shrimp that inhabit this lake during the warmer summer months. These shrimp are also food, food for the birds and food for the alkali flies. There's brine shrimp everywhere. You can see them everywhere. Like, they're all around me. Let's see if you can see these. If you look closely, you'll see them. All the little cloudy specks you see in the water are brine shrimp here.
There's even actually a commercial boat that comes through and harvests these shrimp to sell in pet stores as food for your little fishies. So you may have seen them before in the pet store. And besides those flies and the brine shrimp, what you have left here in this ecosystem is birds. Mono Lake is cr a critical stopover site for millions of migratory shorebirds and waterfowl. And the variety of surrounding ecosystems attracts a wide diversity of more than 300 resident and migrant songbirds, raptors, and more. Today, the majority of the California gulls from the entire Pacific coast nest at Mono Lake. In 1941, Los Angeles began diverting water out of Mono Lake, and as a result, over the next 40 years, Mono Lake dropped by 45 vertical feet, so it's really caused a problem for that bird nesting. This is crazy. So I stand still for long enough. I can see shrimp everywhere, brine shrimp all around me. Also, Everywhere I go, oh, that's, oh, that's like quicksand. No, 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 the freak. So everywhere I go, these little things follow me and those are the fly, the alkali flies that I showed you over there. That's the larvae. The natives used to roast them and eat them. They probably still do. Um, it's like a, they say it tastes like bacon. Would you try them? Let me know in the comments if you would try alkali fly larvae. Let me show you some more right now. Please let me know in the comments. So I have to show you. We, look at that, look at that sky, wow. We hiked back from the lake. We decided to go through, oh my, I can show you the road. We decided to go through the desert instead of the road that we took to get to the lake. So it ended up being an unknown hike in the desert. We had no idea if we were gonna come out right or not. I don't even think I can see a piece of the road, but <clears throat> it went all through there to get to that lake. We came the first way we went down the road into the lake, the main road, and we decided, which is over there, right there, it's the main road. <clears throat> we took the main road to the lake, and it was a two and a half mile walk. So coming back, it was a look at the sky, wow, wow. It was a, almost, a, it was like a two and a half, almost three, it was a three mile walk in the desert. Y'all, never in my, a million years have I ever thought, like, am I going to make it out of this? And then I was like, wait a minute, I have cell service. <laughs> I can call for help if we can't find our way. I asked my friends, and apparently I'm the only one who at any point thought, are we going to make it out of this? Oh my god. So, I've been wanting to get one of these. This is a quick set clam. I have been wanting to get one of these for so long. And y'all, I just took the best shower of my life. I'm not kidding you. Literally, I'll never forget this shower in there. It was absolutely amazing. And I've decided, I've been debating it for a long time. And I've decided, yes. Yes, I want a clam. They are lightweight. I can put these walls on to, if I want <clears throat> to shower, change, use the bathroom, whatever I want here. I can also take all of the windows off the side and use this as a screened, shaded shelter room as an office to work when I'm in the full sun like this. And it sets up so easy. It's just, I'm obsessed. So yes, I'll say yes to the... So, um, we're about to get in the bed. Mm. 
Mercy. That smells putrid. <laughs> Why right now, Mercy? We're going to bed. <sighs> Did I tell you guys the story? I think I told you the story. About the cat scratch. I gotta spray some poopery and go to bed. I'll see y'all in the morning. <sighs> so I, um, <laughs> my hair's just real cute. I'm just acting like it's not like this. <laughs> Um, hold on. Hold that thought. Is this better? Hold that. How about that? <laughs> it's real cute, right? Oh, crap. No, I just did that and I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, food. So, I ate a, um, a bag salad at the, uh, that's how you, we walked forever in the desert and I thought, thought I was going to die. I didn't think I was going to die. Okay, I, there were definitely moments where I was like, oh my God, oh my God, don't panic, Sandal, don't panic, Sandal, you're not gonna get lost in the desert with no water. Anyways, I had water. Um, I had phone service too, which is the funniest part. I, I, I could have called for help if anything happened and why was I stressing? I don't have any idea. Anyways, um, as I was saying, I had a bag salad and a Nikki Delventhal bag salad. <laughs> so I had some cheese and crackers for dinner. Just a little simple. I had these, um, they're fig and olive crackers from Trader Joe's. And I had this Cambazola cheese. I've gotten this thing where I've been going to, when I go to grocery stores, I've been asking the person who works there in the cheese department for their favorite cheese. I don't know if this is a good habit or not. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have found some absolute jewels of cheese. Cambazola. Try it. OMG in a tree. It's like a really good blue cheese and a really good brie. It had a baby and it's a triple cream and it's like, <gasps> please get in my belly, but make sure you go to my mouth first. Oh my God. The flavors. The flavors. The flavors. Okay. I'm going to bed. You guys are wonderful. I appreciate you here. I love you for being here. No, no, no. I appreciate you being here and I love you for you. Thank you. Good night. Say night night, Mers. Mers. Say night night. Uh, she's like, really at this moment in my life? Now is when you're gonna put me on camera, Ma? Really, Ma? Okay, well, Mers will be back to you guys at some other point. <laughs> night night. In case you missed last week, we started our journey along Nevada's Cowboy Corridor. This is a 400 mile route along I-80 from Reno to West Wendover. So far we stopped at Lovelock, Unionville, and Winnemucca. Good morning. Mercy Cat is. You mommy cat. I'm so not ready to wake up. 7.30 something. It's my normal wake up time, but I usually wake up at seven. The hike wore me out yesterday. Ugh. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Had some like souvenirs from like my travels. I'll collect and then do drawings. So I have to go ship those mugs and the souvenirs out today. And then um, I'm going to the laundromat. But right now, I'm on my way with the people that I'm camping with. We are going to um, go eat some breakfast. And um, then post office and laundromat. And then I do a YouTube little live broadcast from my other app. Um, on Tuesdays, my this episode airs at 3.33 p.m. So we go live. I go live on the other app at 2.30. For, so from 2.30 to 3.30, we all hang out live. And then we hang out in the live chat while this is airing live. And then I'm going to go live on YouTube after the episode airs. So, um, yeah, that's what the rest of the day is going to be involved. But it's still early. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to be back and be live by like 2.30 p.m. So, yeah.
Now we're going to get some of the best food in this area. I'm gonna share it with you. So this place is in a mobile gas station on the way to Yosemite. So like if you take Tioga Pass to Yosemite Park, this is a mobile gas station. As soon as you turn, it's right there at the trailhead. And apparently I hear that this is like a chef that has this place. And that's why the food is so good. Um, but the food's great. People are always here. This is my burrito. Breakfast potatoes. Um, breakfast potatoes, I think bacon, eggs, and cheese is in this thing. Look at my friend's bacon. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that it. That looks so good. Um, so yeah, we're about to see how this goes. Oh my God. This tastes like somebody's mama made it. <laughs> oh. I don't know if it was my mama, but that tastes like somebody's mama made it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I said it tastes like somebody's mama made it. Mm -hmm. It is so good. So breakfast was amazing. Um, Merz. Can you say hi? Merz. Merz. Have a kiss? Have a kiss? She, um, I don't know. She's being Merz. But, uh, and that, so I uh, breakfast was amazing. Just dumped our trash. Now we are headed to post office and laundry. Woo! Let's go. post office in Lee Vining, California. I'm actually pretty excited because I just got the great idea. So I was thinking I had to buy um, some like cards in here to send people with the prizes that they won, but it just dawned on me. Your girl's been collecting postcards um, everywhere in the country since I started. So I have postcards so I can use those I can fill out postcards and put them in with the packages and that'll be just as good as actually better because it's a souvenir from one of the places I've been um then like a thank you card or like a you know so postcards so let's go in here and get some mail done up some stuff. I do have a question though. Do you have anything that you could suggest? I have three of these. Look at the hamper shut. Um there's a extra extra small box right over there. On here? Yeah. 
this and not making this small. Are these free with shipping or do we do have to pay for those? Okay. Uh, the free with shipping are those. And the rates go over there. Yeah, okay, all right. So, and you have no idea because it would be by weight, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Is there one in the flat rates that don't fit in? That might be my only option then, right? She abandoned the ship and was like, nope. But she found the perfect box. Okay, that literally took like at least an hour or two. I don't know what it took, but it took a minute. Oh, look at me. I'm not even looking at the camera. Sorry. It That took like an hour or two or I don't know how long it took. It took a minute. The post office is literally closing on me. It's 12.50 and they close at 1 o'clock. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I think I got here at 11.30. So like an hour and a half. Anyways, so now I'm headed to um, laundry. If I can get laundry to... I need to do laundry, but I also need to get something for my tooth. Mm. Got to figure this out. I'll see you guys soon, though. So we're on June Link Loop, and we're stuck behind some lane painters. They're painting the lanes. But who better to be stuck behind than this? Let me show you. I feel like I'm being accosted by another burrow. <laughs> well, hello, Wilbur. We got some laundry. Laundry, <laughs> man. When you live on the road, you have to keep quarters. 
I like to keep 40 to $50 in quarters in me with me out. There appears to be a little store across the street we can go to while we um, do our laundry. Let's go check it out. I just want to see this view. Wait for it, wait for it. <sighs> so beautiful. Oh, that waterfall. Do you see that waterfall? It appears as though caution hazardous area closed. So I don't think this is open. Dang it. Back to the Carson Peak laundromat, which I wonder if that's Carson Peak. I don't know, but I love this laundromat on June Lake Loop. Five minutes ago the live was supposed to start this laundromat always holds me up but you know what i've learned this is the laundromat i was leaving when i met nikki delventhal and i fell asleep in this parking lot that day and was 15 minutes late to get moving for a live stream that i was about to do that i needed to get done no ma'am no ma'am go back inside baby it's okay it's okay baby and um had i not fallen asleep in this parking lot I would have never met Nikki Dolventhal. And I was thinking that I was running late, but you're never late, guys. The point of all that is to say that you're always exactly where you're supposed to be. Just trust it, just trust it. Now I gotta get back to the campsite and go live. So I just got to this coffee shop on June Lake Loop that a friend that I met in Death Valley told me about. So um, I'm gonna go do my live stream in there because I'm supposed to be live because I have a YouTube premiering in half an hour. So um, I'm gonna go grab a coffee and get live the coffee shop was closed but i did the live out front and now we're headed back to the campsite it has been an epic day hey monty cat you say good night Good night. <laughs> Baby. So we're going to bed. Um, I got to take a shower in the clam again and it was amazing. And um, I did the laundry and the YouTube premiere and all the things today. So tomorrow I'm just going to be working, I think, getting some editing and such done. So, uh, yeah, this might be to be continued right here. I'm not sure. We'll see. Good night.